Welcome back to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in digital infrastructure and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis from JSA, and we are live from ITW 2024. And joining me today is Mike DeVito. He is the CCL of Tonaquint Data Centers. They are a premier data center provider for mid-market organizations in emerging high-growth markets. Welcome back. Great to be with you, Buffy. Thanks for having us again. Yes, absolutely. Always a pleasure, Mike. And Tonaquin had some exciting news last week uh, for the unveiling of their Oklahoma data center. Want to give us some more details about that? Thank you, Buffy. Yeah, we, we had a great week. Um, we welcomed our clients, our partners, some local business leaders. We had executives from the Chamber of Commerce. We had our investors there, Diff Capital Partners. Diff is a great partner to us, and we wouldn't have Oklahoma City without them, so it was great to welcome them there. It was a great day. I uh, met a lot of uh, old friends, made some new friends, so it was a great day, and we're fully launched. And I did want to take a minute and just just acknowledge and, and, and recognize and thank the Tonopin team. They did an amazing job working really hard to recommission what was an excellent single client facility into a world-class multi-client facility. It shows beautifully. It's amazing. So we're thrilled uh, to be open there and launched with our first two and a half megawatts online. And most importantly, the weather cooperated. Uh, I understand that at that time of the year in Oklahoma, tornadoes could always be possible. We had a bit of rain, but overall it was a great day. So we're thrilled. Yeah. Well, thanks to mother nature and thanks to the Tonaquint team for uh, getting that site. They worked around the clock. It was an awesome effort and all credit to the team. Yeah, congratulations, Tonaquin team, on that amazing accomplishment in that uh, emerging market there in Oklahoma. Uh, that state-of-the-art facility is also designed to meet the rising, increasing demands of AI. I mean, we're hearing all about AI, AI here at the conference and just about in our everyday life now. Uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit more about what that means for customers? Yeah, thanks. But in general, that facility gives us... Uh, a significant level of optionality that we didn't previously have. Mm -hmm. Our facilities in Boise, Idaho, and St. George are excellent facilities, but Oklahoma City brings us optionality principally in two forms. One is, as you point out, uh, to support higher density workloads, be it AI, HPC, or what have you. It's a water cool facility. We have distribution on the data center floor up to the chip uh, if needed, right? So that gives us an option that we didn't previously have for those higher density workloads. So that's great. We're thrilled about that. Uh, but in addition to that, the sheer size of it, up to 16 megawatts, depending on how we configure it, gives our clients optionality for, uh, let's say, workloads that, that are, that are uh, just we didn't have today, right? So um, we give the bigger space, bigger bite-sized chunks that we just didn't have before. So that's an option we didn't previously have. We're thrilled to have that in Oklahoma City. So if you think about, you know, workloads and, and putting them together in data center floor, that's what we have now. Yeah, it sounds like a very scalable agile uh, facility there. It is. It is. We want to offer our clients, you know, basically everything that we have, and that gives us other options we didn't have before. Exciting. And I think we have some more exciting news in the Boise market. Uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit more about some of the opportunities that you have in Boise? Yeah, we do. And why don't you think about Oklahoma City? It'll be our blueprint uh, going forward for anything that we pull out of the ground, any any greenfield opportunity, because okay. our clients are telling us that, that that config, that model is interesting to them. And that brings us to Boise, where we have land adjacent to our existing facility, which we could build a 10 to 20 megawatt core and shell facility, depending on config, um, concurrently maintainable, carrier neutral. And we feel like that is a build the suit opportunity that could be uh, uh, great for that market. That is great for that market. We're actively searching for an anchor tenant, if you like. Uh, that facility would be great for high density workloads, HPC, AI. Okay. It's a great edge facility. There's a lot of carriers in that market. We're well connected there. It's seven miles from the airport. So we like that. Uh, and by the way, concurrently in our existing facility, uh, which is just down the street, we will be bringing online an additional 750 kilowatts of IT infrastructure in Q4. So that's in addition to what we have as a build the suit opportunity. So we're actively searching for clients that are pre-leasing, if you like, and very much in search of a, of a client who will be an anchor tenant for our facility that we want to pull out of the ground using our, our blueprint from Oklahoma City. So if anyone is searching uh, to be your next anchor tenant or uh, looking for those markets, build to suit opportunities, tell viewers where they can go. Uh, hit me up at Mike at or look me up on LinkedIn uh, and we'd love to chat. Yeah. 
Is there anything else you want to add today, Mike? Uh, I just want to thank the uh, the JSA team. We had an amazing event on Wednesday night here at ITW. It's been a great ITW. It was our first event at ITW, and thanks to all who joined us, and thanks to JSA for helping us with that. But thank you all for coming. It was a great night. We're going to do it again next year, so thank you. Oh, absolutely. It's been our pleasure to work with you and the Tonaquin team, and that party was definitely the hit of ITW, and we're going to be doing it again next we're year. We're going to do it again next year there with balloons. Go. With balloons. I've been talking to balloons now, so. Great. Amazing. Thank you so much, Mike, Thank you, Buffy. for joining us here live on JSA TV from ITW 2024. And for our viewers tuning in, stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.